this Abbey Skate event has changed my life and changed my family's lives. This works because people make little steps towards getting to know Christ and uh, that's exciting. Each year you learn something a little bit new about the culture of the community and of the young people and also about how you can find more effective ways of engaging with families. The Abbey community, it brings us all together because we all go to different services so you'll get some people that go at 10.30 in the morning and some families that don't go till 4 in the afternoon but the skate park brings them all together. I was privileged to work with the team in the beginning and I've been able to watch the whole team grow and evolve and relationships build and looking at people's giftings within the congregation, praying with the leadership team and working out who we could use as volunteers and in which areas. And this year has been absolutely amazing. We've been able to delegate the work to different people um, and they've just been able to go and get on with it and it's been a really peaceful, relaxing journey up until this point this week. I suppose from, from my perspective, I've been now um, running Christian Surfers full-time, living by faith for over 10 years now. And uh, what makes it exciting for me is to see little steps that people take along the way. Um, I often think that sort of a bit like an iceberg, you know, we only see about 10% what God's doing and the other 90% is beneath the water. Um, but it's exciting for me when you see lives changed, there's people here we connect with, there's people in the surf we connect with, not just in those lovely summer hot days but actually in the middle of winter and that's when the relationships are so strong. We had one person two years ago who came to Malmesbury Abbey Skate and he was so affected by what he saw and by what was happening that it brought him back to God. And even today, just a couple of hours ago, two young people, two 12-year-olds, came in and they were asking questions about faith. And they talked to one of the members of the skate team about God and about Jesus. And he had an opportunity to pray with them. And after that, they said, we'd love to know more about this Jesus. Have you got any material? So the cafe has been really, really popular um, and the thing I love about it is the fellowship. So all the relationships that are built with people that come into the um, cafe and drink coffee that would never normally come into a church. I think when you get volunteers in, in that kind of situation, it's all about making it a rewarding experience for them um, so that they, they know they're, they're submitting themselves to a bit of hard work for no reward. So you have to make it rewarding. You have to be appreciative and show them exactly how their effort means makes is making a difference to what is happening so if it's something physical like lugging in 100 hay bales at seven in the morning on valentine's day when they should be at home cooking their wife's breakfast or nipping to the florists early to get flowers or whatever um they're not they're helping us put 100 hay bales into an abbey and bagging them up and lining them all up and then, so you get them to come back in the day when they can see what a difference what they did made to the setup. This sense that churches, when they come together, can do far more than you kind of thought was possible because actually to put, make a cafe happen or to make a skate park happen um, or to have music, all these areas is possible with you know not a huge amount of people but you need the whole community believing in the vision of it that as an outreach of sharing the love of Jesus and sharing the hope of Christ if you like that they're behind it and they back it even if they're not going to be involved many people that have come here they've often said I didn't realize that the church was connecting with young people as much as it is and that actually in some ways I would thought of churches more like places of history and museums rather than living buildings affecting everyday lives. One of the main reasons I became a Christian was because of this skate park. It was down to the skate park being here, down to the, seeing the people um, just do something that they didn't have to do, that no one really wanted them to do, but just to show God's love and to show teenagers that um, this abbey belongs to them as well and God loves them as well. And so they walk past the abbey in the morning on their way to school or hanging out in, in town and they don't look at the abbey and think that building's got nothing to do with me and that church has got nothing to do with me they look at the abbey and think cool that's where we have a really good skate park and that's the um and the, and also and the people in there are, are, are cool as well and they're christian so they associate being a christian with being cool and 
I, I'm sure teenagers don't use the word cool now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's sick, sick or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say abby. sick happy. It's a sick happy, but for a teenager, that's the thing. We noticed that there was lots and lots of families, particularly in the mornings of the three days. And so this year, we started a creative zone, which was just an outreach to families where there was face painting, design a skateboard competition, making things, just a way of connecting with young people and their parents. And already this morning, we've seen great fruit of that. So it's a great reminder that as you try as far as possible, to stay sensitive to the voice of God and listen to what God wants to do through the project you're involved in, he can continue to teach you new things about what he would like to do through the event that you're running.